Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we're gonna go through the Python code for the Simpsons one-third rule. Now, before we jump into the code, let's actually briefly uh, describe the Simpsons one-third rule. So the Simpsons one-third rule uh, uses a second order polynomial in Newton interpolating polynomial to get an estimate of an area under the curve for any given function. In this case, ln of x for a certain integration interval, in this case, two to four. Now, we have examined a single application, uh, Simpsons, and also a multiple application, Simpsons, and we have solidified this entire technique in this uh, function here. So the code, much like with the trapezoidal rule, is going to be uh, coding this function and uh, applying it for a single application, two, three, four, however many applications to, um, to hit a certain error criteria that you might be interested in. So let's actually begin. So the function that we're dealing with here is the ln function. And let's import the math package. And the integration limits uh, are two and four. And we are still dealing with a while loop because we are dealing with an error criteria for the approximate error. So we're going to be looping until we get below, in this case, our first example is a 0.1% error. Now, much like with the trapezoidal rule, we're going to be coding all the elements within this equation. So we have the H, the function at the lower limit, the function at the upper limit, and these two submission terms. So let's actually start with H. So we know that H is equal to b minus a divided by n. Uh, now the first submission term here is going to be defined very much like what we did with the trapezoidal rule. So let's actually say someone is equal to zero and let's use a for loop for i in range. And in this case, it's going to start at one. So one to n minus one. And we know with the range function is gonna be one to n since the range function does not include the last term. And also since here, we are going at the step size of two. So we're going from two to three to five. Now the default for the range is ups every one. So for us to change the step size, we're going to be uh, also putting a third term here, uh, two. Now the sum function here is much like the same for the trapezoidal. So it's just gonna be sum one uh, plus equal to two multiplied by F and it's still gonna be defined as A plus I multiplied by H. Now for ease, let's actually copy the sum code and paste it down here for the second one. Let's change this to sum two and here sum two. Now the change here is this one starts from two to N minus two. So let's actually change the I here from two. And we know with the uh, range, uh, if we want to go to n minus 2, it's going to be to n uh, minus 1 here. And again, here we're going with a step side of 2, 2, 4, 6. So we're going to leave the 2 here. So now that we have defined h, we have defined this first submission term and second submission term. Let's actually define the function value at the lower limit and the upper limit. Let me also uh, correct one thing. Here, the we have a constant of two and the second submission, we have a constant of four in the first one. So here, let's actually change this two to a four. So let's create our first uh, approximation, which is integral is equal to h divided by three multiplied by the function at a plus the submission uh, term one, submission term two, and plus the function value at b. Much like with uh, the trapezoidal rule, we're going to have to be calculating the approximate error and the true error. Now for ease, I'm gonna be taking this uh, equations from the trapezoidal rule. So I'm gonna copy this here. Let's actually take this even with a comment. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the approximate errors defined in terms of integral minus all divided by integral multiplied by 100. Also, we have the uh, true error also defined here in terms of the true value of 2.15888. Much like with the trapezoidal rule, we also need to uh, store the current estimate for the new iteration. And uh, here with the Simpsons, we also, uh, before we loop to the next one, we need to get, we need to up the application of the Simpsons one third rule to get a better estimate. Now, the difference with between the Simpsons and the trapezoid is that the trapezoid ups by one, but the Sis Simpsons ups by two. So this N is going to be uh, plus equal to uh, two. Now that uh, we are done with the actual loop, we have defined h sum one sum two, and we created the uh, code here for the Simpsons one third rule. We have defined the approximate and true error. We have stored the uh, current estimate in the old, and also we upped the application of the Simpsons. Let's actually create a um, an actual display code. So let's actually take this display code that we have here. And let's put it here. And also let's initialize the same terms. So EA is 100 as well here. And also uh, we want N, since this is a Simpsons, to start at 2. And also we want uh, the old to start at a 100. Uh, let's take the uh, string format that we have here. Now there's a slight... Um, difference that we're going to be doing with the string format for this one. Uh, now, since the number of trapezoids and the application number are the same, we just put n here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define uh, this one, the application as ii, because we can't use n here since n starts at 2 and then goes 4, 6, 8, but I want the applications to go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to put ii as the application so i'm gonna say ii starts at one and i'm gonna uh, also say here that every iteration up the ii or the application number by one and it's gonna put it here so let's actually uh run the code all right perfect so we had two applications of the simpsons to get us below 0.1% here at 0 0.039370 and we have an approximation of 2.158813. Now before we examine another error, I want you to see something. Here with the trapezoid, when we wanted to go say below 0.1%, it took five different trapezoids or five applications of the trapezoid but with the Simpsons, it only took two applications of the trapezoid. Let's see how many applications it's going to take to actually go below 0 0.01. So below 0 0.01, it took three applications at um, an integral estimate of 2.158869. And see, you can see it's uh, below 0 0.01 at 0 0.002557. Now, if you remember with the trapezoid, to go below 0 0.01, it required 10 different applications of the trapezoidal rule, and it didn't even uh, satisfy. It didn't even reach the same approximate error. Here, you have 0 0.009, but here it even went below, uh, even below that at 0 0.002. So you can actually see because we used a higher order polynomial, a second order polynomial. Now it only requires. Uh, three applications of the Simpsons to reach a better estimate than a 10 application uh, uh, trapezoidal would do. Let's actually do a last experiment with the error. Let's actually do 0 0.001. See how many applications. So it took four applications and now we have a error uh, below 0 0.001 at 0 0.000452. And here the integral is 0.158878. Now, if you remember, the true value here is 0.15888. And you can see we're very, very close to that number. And that took only four applications of the Simpsons, but 
with to get below 0 0.001 with a trapezoid we need 21 different applications of the trapezoid so you can see the massive superiority of the simpsons one-third rule to the trapezoid and it doesn't come as a surprise because the trapezoid uses an approximation using a first order polynomial but with the simpsons it uses a second order polynomial so in this lesson we have created a python code for simpsons one-third rule that lets you get an area under the curve for any function you might be interested in, in any uh, interval in this case we dealt with ln of x between two and four we found that it is uh the code is as simple as the one for the trapezoid all you needed to do is create a while loop that is dependent on the approximate error we defined h the first sum the second sum and the uh function at the lower and upper limit so these are basically what we coded here with uh, a slight extra things here with the approximate error since the loop is dependent on that and also the storing of the current estimate so we can actually cal calculate the approximate error for each iteration and the only added difference uh, here with the um, Simpsons and um, the trapezoid is the n ups by two uh, since we have two segments per one application so we created this ii to signify the uh, number of applications and we put it also in the print function here uh, so that'll be it for this lesson and i will see you in the next lesson